Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Actives. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Webador Builder to create a website. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, you might be wondering, how do you use Webador here? So in this case, if you're not aware yet, Webador is a website or a platform for you to start creating your website. Well, in this case, again, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to their official website, which is going to be webador.co.uk. Now, since we want to get started with their platform, let's go ahead and click on get started at the top right of your screen. And from here, we need to create our account. So in this case, you need to choose what kind of website that you want to create. So maybe a website, online store, or blog. Now, for example, I'm going to create a website here. Click on continue. And it's going to ask me, what is the title of the website? So for example, the title of my website is going to be uh, the following, which is going to be uh, this one. And from here, let's go and click on continue. Now we need to provide an address as well as a password that we want to use for our account. Let's go and provide our details and just click on get started. Now once you've created your website or your account, you have two options here on getting started. So you have the option to pre-fill your website with content or create from an empty slate. So in this case, we'll be using the pre-fill with content here. So just, just to make sure that we see a bunch of content here and review the actual uh, platform itself. So you have the what kind of business are you building? So in this case, maybe you're building into art restoration, bakery or whatnot. So for example, I'm into, let's just say into computer repair here. Now what makes your business unique? But this is optional. You could also change the location if you want to. Just click on the edit button. But for now, let's go and click on continue. Now next is going to ask you to set like initial pages for your website. So from here, we want to have by default the home page here. We want to also have the contact page. We also have the our services. But if you want to add customer testimonials, you could go and do that. But for now, we're going to keep the defaults here. Let's go and click on select pages and continue. Now it's going to ask you which profile features do you need for your website. So in this case, you can go and select whatever option that you need here. So for example, I want to also include custom HTML and widgets and also Google inter uh, integrations. Now from here, let's go and click on continue. Now it's going to say choose a template here. So the great thing about the platform itself is you could choose templates that you want to use for your website, which actually speeds up the development process because their templates here are actually pretty uh, good or are actually pretty pre uh, beautiful here. So in this case, maybe I want to use this website here. Let's go ahead and click on start with this template. And from here, we want to choose our domain. So there are going to be uh, free ones that you could use here, but in this case, you need to pay for it, but we also have the free version, which is going to be the subdomain name. So in this case, this is going to be the free one. Let's go and select this one, click on continue. And from here, you have the following option. So you could choose either business, pro or light. So this is going to be the prices for the monthly subscription. But if you use the annual subscription here, you'll be able to save more. You can even try this for free if you want to. So for now, let's go and choose a per month here and we want to choose the free plan here. Since we're using the free plan, there are going to be some limitations of what we could do here. Like for example, for the free plan, you have the following web address, which is webadorsite.com and all essential features. Now, the features or professional features here will be limited as well. And the website is not going to be ad free. So meaning your website might have some ads to it. But for now, let's go and select this one, click on choose plan. And from here, we want to click on continue with free plan. Now it should apply that theme and it's going to start building our website. So in this case, let's just wait for it. Now in this case, you should now be able to see the editor for your website. Now we need to discuss the different sections here. So at the very top next to Webador, we have different tabs that we can explore. We have editor, pages, design, store, and settings. Now each tab here represents a different aspect of your website. Now the editor option here allows you to edit or remove or even add content. Like for example, if you want to add text, this is where you'll be able to do it, do it in. For example, we want to add like, for example, a title here. Let's go ahead and drag it into our website and you should be able to add a text into it. So for example, let's go and add it in here. And from here that should add a text. So it's going to say test here. And as you can see, we now have our text. Now in this case, you can go ahead and add whatever you want here. 
and if you want to edit a specific element here like for example your text here you just need to click on that specific element so for example for text you can change the uh, style for it make it bold italic or even underline it if you want to or even add links so in this case if you're familiar with word it's kind of quite similar to that now for different sections here like for example for this one you go ahead and click on it and the following options should appear like for example uh adding a new image or replacing it with a new image and even changing the actual look for it so you can be, uh, basically move them around as you can see i'm moving it around using the scroll here now if you want to access additional settings you can go and click on settings here and change the shape and click enlarge and alter alternative text just in case it doesn't load now in this case, depending on the element that you're accessing here, you'll be able to change a few settings on it. Now in this case, what are the other things that we could do here? Like if you want to add a section, which in this case, it's going to be the structure section here, you could go ahead and just drag it in here. And we now have another section for containing other elements like media, text, or images, or any forms that you want to add. Now, by the way, in the editor section, you could also change your view. So if you want to view your website in mobile form, you should be able to see it by clicking on the mobile view on the top of your screen here, just under the web bar. You also have the mobile bar here. So in this case, a bar shown at the top of your website visible to mobile users only. So if you want to allow that, you could go and allow this one. As you can see, we now have that bar and you can change a few things here like phone number, location, and a lot more. So let's go ahead and switch back into the PC version. So yeah, so the editor basically is going to be your editor. So you can change a few things. So if you see the edit button, you could go and click on it, change the image, the design for it. If you want to use a video, you could go ahead and do that. Now we also have the pages here, which in this case you can manage or start managing your pages. So for example, if you want to make a dedicated page for a specific product or a specific client, you could go ahead and click on new page here, just add the name and the banner and the SEO settings and extra settings if you want to. Now you can even reposition a few things here. Like for example, you could basically move them around. If you want to add the home or the R service section on their home, you could go ahead and do that. And in this case, the navigation should now be under R services. So in this case, when you go to your website again, just to give you an idea, it should now be under uh, home. So R service is now under home, which is something really cool because you'll be able to manage easily your uh, navigation. So you also have this sign here, which indicates the overall design of your website, like the team, the colors, the uh, colors that will be uh, shown in here and the templates that is being used in here. Now, in this case, you can basically format them if you want to. Now, I also have the store setting here, which in this case, if you have an online store, like for example, you could just change the orders or view orders here, view the customers, view the products that you have right now. If you want to add products, you could go ahead and do that. Also have the option to modify your payment method. So what type of payments that is available. So we have tri Stripe, PayPal, and a lot more. If you want to add them like bank transfer and uh, a lot more. So you have the option to change like shipping, tax, checkout form, confirmation emails. So anything relating to your store uh, settings this is where you'll be able to see them. Now, if you want to edit the actual settings of your website, you could go and click on settings here. Like for example, if you want to use a different domain, you could go to domains here, uh, add contributors. If you want to the people that could act, actually edit the website, general settings to change for your website, like the language, time zone, and whatnot. Also have the business uh, setting listings here. If you want to use those SEO and advanced settings as well. So. In this case, those are the basics on how to use Webador here. And if you want to publish it, you could go and click on the uh, publish at the top right of your screen. So as you can see, it's publish button is the top right here. So if you want to publish that, click on publish. Now in this case, you could choose your domain here or subdomain, and you should be able to now have a website published to the internet. Now, by the way, they have a get started at the bottom right here, just to guide you on what the, are the first things that you need to do for you to get started on your website. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.